the relevance of the study is to investigate if uh, within colorectal cancer we can identify subgroups of tumors that can behave in a different way in terms of prognosis and most important in terms of prediction of response or lack of response to specific therapies. This is very important because among human uh, tumors in the adult, colorectal cancer is a typical tumor in which we know that there is a very heterogeneous disease behind and uh, it's very important to us to identify if we can have uh, homogeneous groups that could be considered and treated uh, as different entities. So what the International Consortium has done is to review the individual data of different groups of molecular pathologists, clinicians and bioinformatics that have identified or tried to identify subgroups based on gene expression profile and mutation status of colorectal cancer patients and see if these uh, groups and subgroups analyzed all together with the same methodology could bring us novel information on solid uh, groups of tumors. In fact, each platform, by using different molecular gene testing and by using different bioinformatic approach, could give different results. In this case, all the uh, different platform gave rise to four to five subgroups that in some cases were partially overlapping, but were also different. So the major effort for which uh, the authors have been really very uh, brave in uh, doing it is to bring together all the methodologies to do an analysis that is trying to um, overcome the difference and find a consortium uh, specific uh, uh, consensus on subgroups. The results are that we have now with this kind of a um, methodological approach, at least identified four subgroups of colorectal cancer. In this case, what we know is that these subgroups differ highly in terms of biology and in terms of prognosis. In fact, there are groups that are with the worst prognosis and groups with a better prognosis. And this is mostly related on which genes are mutated and which genes are expressed. So there is uh, an important finding in terms of what is the biology behind this uh, classification in four groups. How we translate these uh, important scientific findings to clinical practice is hard to say today because this is still an experimental approach and the robustness of the approach is that by putting together all the data files with different methodologies we are right to have at least four groups of colorectal cancer that stand in a different way in terms of prognosis. Now the challenge is how we can apply this information for clinical practice for the future, because what is really important is how this subgrouping is relevant for the single patient we see in our clinical day practice and how this information could be used by the single physician that has in front of him or, or her a single patient, the information regarding the subgrouping of this tumor in terms of what can be offered in terms of therapy. This is still a long uh, process and uh, this is a very important first step toward. Actually, in colorectal cancer, we already are using some molecular testing that is helping us to identify patients who should be treated or not with specific therapies. Uh, for example, uh, if we think about metastatic colorectal cancer, we know that testing for RAS gene mutations, such as KRAS and NRAS, is important as an important uh, parameter for treatment with anti-GFR drugs. In fact, if you have tumors that are mutated either in the KRAS or the NRAS gene, this tumor will not respond to treatment with anti-epidermal factor receptor monoclonal antibodies. Therefore, treatment with these antibodies is limited to RAS well type patients. Another important information in metastatic disease is that BRAF mutation characterizes usually very bad prognostic uh, tumors. So we are in the start 
in the starting era we're using some molecular classification for prognosis and for therapy and what has been presented here is a more comprehensive approach that is looking at uh, the entire picture of mutations or gene expression profiling to define better the subgroups and hopefully this is the future.